because we get started. Hey, Vondell, glad you made it. Thanks for joining us. We are about to have so much great information. Why do you guys think I love teaching so much? Because when you teach, you learn so much more than you could possibly give in the short amount of time that you're teaching. And in the preparation, I learned so much, so much that I can incorporate into my own life. So thank you for joining me so that I have a chance to share with you the things I want to share. Um, to start with oil stories, I'm going to tell you an oil story. And then if you guys will have something you want to share, please, please, please speak up. Um, so I've been doing a lot of Beat Saber, a lot of exercising. I'm going to be doing a class on it on Saturday, June 17th. So if you want to come to that one, put that Saturday on your calendar. And my shoulders have been hurting and my wrists have been hurting from all this exercising that I'm doing. And I actually started wearing wrist weights last week while I do it so that I would have to work harder. And it actually made my ankles start hurting. I think it was just so, I mean, it wasn't that much heavier, but it felt like my arms were five pounds each as I was doing it. And so I started hurting in places I hadn't been hurting. So deep blue rub is my all time go-to. And every morning I've been putting on my knees for about probably a year, just preventatively putting it on my knees. But I've taken that same little dollop of, I mean, pea-sized dollop of deep blue. And in the mornings I do this, I get some on both hands. I tap my knees, I tap my ankles, I tap my back, I tap my shoulders, and then I rub the rest of it on my wrists and my hands. And then I go and I rub it in everywhere. I'm using that same pea size amount of deep blue rub, but everything has stopped hurting. The ankles, the hips, or the back, the lower back, the shoulders, and my wrists and my hands, everything has stopped hurting. So that's pretty darn cool. If everything can stop hurting from the same little pea size amount of deep blue rub, that's the way to go. I've also noticed, you know how after we use deep blue rub, we have to be really careful not to touch our eyes and this and this and that. After I rub it in at all those places, after I've had a shower and then I get dressed, I don't ever have to worry about washing my hands because it's pretty much gone on my hands. Deep blue rub is going to save your life. If you haven't tried that, try going that direction. Trisha, glad you're here. Jen Lee, thanks for joining. Vondell, so glad you're all here. I'm so excited to teach you today. We're going to have a little bit of, um, of fire hosing you because I have so much information, but I love to hear your comments too. So please feel free to speak up. Does anybody have an oil, something that they want to share, something that's working for them lately? Because I love to hear from other people too. Okay. Patty's got one. Okay. So out in the countryside this weekend, hanging out in Kansas literally in the fields i got a sunburn because yeah. i did not use the sunscreen oh right? so what did i do when i got back to the hotel room i used the after sun and it was the first time i'd ever used anything <laughs> but pure aloe juice after a sunburn um, and it was amazing it was it was really really amazing um Dale's got, helped me spread it from shoulders to waist all the way down my arms. And um, it was such a cooling and pain relieving experience because I was like, I oh, don't don't touch me. I don't want to go anywhere. Don't touch me. I don't want to take a shower. Nothing. Um, but you put it on and it's a very, very light uh, non oily um, aloe and essential oil. And I, yeah, there is some oil in it, but, and in addition to the essential oils, um, but it is so light and so refreshing and uh, just sitting in the hotel room uh, without having, you know, to put ice or pain reliever or anything like that on. The after sun works really, really well. And of course, I had it on my hands, so I put it on my face and my nose for those little bits, and then I put it on Dale's face and his neck and everything. It worked so well. I had no pain, and usually I get lobster, lobster red yeah. when I I, I haven't used mine. I just opened it. Oh, it is so light. It's as, it's, think, um, you know, the beautiful body spray? Oh, it's yeah. It's even lighter than that. And yes, it's oh, locked, it's locked, so you have to twist yeah, it. I'm like, it's not working. 
No, just just twist it and you'll hear it click. Woo. And it is so light. Ooh, Smell. it smells awesome. I know, isn't I it I haven't great? burned myself. I haven't had a need for this. Wow. But you know what? Um, I used the sun care products on me and Max and Dale's when we went to the day before we went to the water pool, the water, uh, the, the water park at the pool there in this teeny tiny little town. And none of us got uh, any burns. And I was like, I didn't even turn pink, you know, awesome. and then the next day I was you out without it and I burned. <laughs> but slightly. And that aftercare, that after, so after sun, the sun wonderful. care stuff is all mineral based, all mm -hmm. natural. Of course, they've mm -hmm. got the stick, they've got the spray, they've got the lotion, and then they have an after sun. So if you do get burned, you can calm your skin down. So it was wonderful. Thank you. Good, good choice. And that reminded me of outside. I don't know what it is with mosquitoes this year, but they are terrible here in Texas. So I've made up Terra Shield roll-ons for my kids. And as they came, some of them are very oil prone and some of them were like, no, no, no. And everybody was using the Terra Shield because the bugs were out. And it makes me feel so good to use something natural on my grandkids. And I don't have to worry about it. So those time of year, time of year, think, thinking about Terra Shield blend using natural things. All right. I'm Shalene. I'm going to be teaching today and we're going to get started on cleaning with essential oils. And I... I put on my post on, on Facebook, so you may have heard this. I have somebody on my team who cleans homes for a living. She is only allowed to use doTERRA products in the homes of people that have cancer. Now, doesn't that tell you something that people who are dealing with cancer are trying to detoxify their lives and not add extra synthetic anything, toxins into their lives they have to deal with. So using natural cleaners is the great way to go. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that, a little bit about detoxifying and um, some ways that you can make steps in your family's life, in your home life to do better. So cancer causing products hiding in your home because we get on toxic overload. A scientist, David Suzuki, reports 80% of common household products contain at least one of the 12 most toxic chemicals. 80% of the products out there carry at least one of the 12 most toxic chemicals. That's pretty bad. So in shampoo, we have para parabens. We have synthetic fragrances and everything in our perfumes. And, and um, even some that are organic or natural shampoo brands can then also carry the harsh chemicals. So it's Shaleen, um, yes. do you have uh, something for us to like look at? Like I don't, I did okay. not do, I All did right. not do a slideshow. I had so much information. I thought my slides would be going, <laughs> if I, okay. if, we're just going to talk. You can put me on your, big on your screen if you want. And then I'll, That's what I'm and I'll be do. animated. Yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> yes. Shaleen, I've heard of them. What, what are they? I don't know what they are. Patty, do you know what parabens are? I will be able to look that oh, up really? and tell you in just a few yeah, minutes because the know I put actual it on... definition is a little bit more chemistry -er than most people want. So and let me that's... look that up. <laughs> probably, I would say look it up yourself. It's probably very chemically, um, but I've heard it mentioned on many podcasts and articles I've read. So well, paraben is a wax. Oh, okay, Diane. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, wait. That's paraffin is a wax. Oh, you're right. P-A-R-A-F-E-N. That's why paraffin. I wanted to look it up so real paraben, quick. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Diane. Paraben is P-A-R-A-B-E-N-S is one we're talking about. Thank you, Laura. We'll see if we can get Patty to find this answer. So scented candles <laughs> are far from natural. Most candles, even unscented ones, have formaldehyde and incredibly harmful chemicals that emit, emit toxic fumes when they're heated. Do you know how many people give me candles? They think I love scents. They think I love it because I love the oil scents. And I had a, I had a friend that I wanted to get to know better. And I invited her over not to talk to Tara, just to get to know her. And she brings me a scented candle. I get them for Christmas all the time. And I'm like, what do I do with this? I can't use it. <laughs> so, okay. So I have the, I have the, the thing. Okay. Paraben is a class of chemical, fam it's a chemical family and they're preservatives. Ah. So they are only added to the product to keep it shelf, shelf stable, stable for a certain amount yeah. of time. Now, these, th 
these chemicals start with words like methyl, propyl, butyl, and ethyl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. There's, yeah, and the, none of them are uh, none of them are perfectly safe. They all have a little bit of offness to them, but they're literally just preservatives. And it's just mm -hmm. to keep the item on the shelf or to keep it stable during transit when it's not, you know, when it's not um, refrigerated or stored at a certain pressure or whatever. Right. So that's Are the same kind of a thing. Aren't what? Phthalates, I think is how you pronounce phthalates. it. Phthalates are chemical fragrances that contain some parabens. Oh, okay. So Thank phthalates you. Phthalates are complex chemicals. Parabens are a little bit simpler, but let's go back to Shalene. Thank you, Patty. You're amazing. Okay. Air fresheners and perfumes, those contain fragrances too. They actually put up to 3000 chemicals in some perfumes to create a per perfect scent that they're after. But a lot of these can lead to neurological problems, poor immunity, autoimmune disorders, dermatitis, respiratory. Oh my goodness. The list goes on and on. Ingredients are not even required to be listed on some products, meaning that you never really know what you're breathing in. So just make your own. You can use fractionated coconut oil or almond oil or anything with your favorite um, essential oil and make your own air fresheners and perfumes. Even shower curtains, <laughs> oh my goodness, made with PVC can release up to 108 volatile organic compounds including seven, which are on the EPA's list of hazardous air pollutants. I didn't even realize that till I started studying. And I was like, what? A shower curtain? So you can get PVC free shower curtains. So that's just another thing to be aware of. Um, art supplies. I can remember growing up and just knowing that the smell of the markers would make me feel ill. And so again, some areas that we can be careful and not Smell that in. Antiperspirants, aluminum ingredients, been linked to the onset of Alzheimer's and breast cancer. So you can make your own or use doTERRA's. All right, lots of positive things there. Okay, as I was, as I was uh, listening to a podcast to get ready for this, the lady did the most amazing uh, uh, explanation, analogy. So if we're cleaning our homes, I know this class is supposed to be about cleaning, but as I started searching, I found all this detoxification information. So if we are cleaning our homes, cleaning our bodies, we are using products. And she used this analogy. Say, take a sheet of paper for every synthetic ingredient that you're putting on your body. Say you get up in the morning and you shampoo your hair and there's eight ingredients there. And just think about eight sheets of paper, okay? And then you put on your skin routine or you wash your face with something that's maybe not good. You put on a few pieces of paper and then you put on your makeup and your skin regime and it's not natural products, a few more, few more pieces of paper and you eat things you shouldn't and you breathe in things you shouldn't and you put more and more pieces of paper. What her analogy was, we're walking around with a ream of paper on us. You know, we're just, we're like, oh my goodness. Our body has to feel heavy because we've got all this that we have to deal with to get through before we can lead a healthy, natural life. And I think because I'm a paper person, I'm old school and I'm into paper and I just barely opened a ream of paper to put in my printer. I was like, ah, ugh, heavy, you know, and then on this podcast, she started talking about our kidneys and our um uh liver and our lungs having to detoxify all those things and get them out of our system and that's a load on our body so much that we have to get out so as we're using cleaning things and products and things on our skin we want to use things that are natural so that we don't have to detoxify as much we're always going to be detoxifying there's always things we're breathing in but we want the help that we can possibly give our body the help we possibly can. Okay, so when you talk about cleaning essential oils in your home, I would love to talk to you just a little bit about some things you can use that aren't necessarily oils. Vinegar is a great antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. So I know somebody, uh, vinegar is cheap. It is cheap stuff. Now, it doesn't smell the best, but it is a great cleaning product. Pastel soap. You use this to break down greasy stains and lift dirt. It's just a really healthy, natural soap that you can get. Baking soda is phenomenal. Use it when you need to lift dirt and deodorize. And it even is a mild abrasive. 
So again, a very cheap product that is very good to clean with. Now the On Guard Cleaner is one of my favorites. The On Guard Cleaner Concentrate is, is a concentrate. So you literally put two tablespoons into a spray bottle and you're using it everywhere. I use it to clean my sinks and my bathrooms, my toilets. I don't use it on mirrors because it's too soapy. I have a different one that I've made for my mirrors, but I use it everywhere. And then I love the smell of On Guard. So it's so great. There's also a bowed out there. I personally don't love the smell of a bowed, so I don't use that to clean my house as much. But if you love that, doTERRA's got a whole line of abode products that you can use. I think it probably has <laughs> cilantro in it. And I don't like cilantro in any way, shape or form, but it's. Uh, I think that's probably what it is that I don't like. Uh, other essential oils that you can use, Purify, On Guard, Juniper Berry, Lemon, Lime, Melaleuca, or Tea Tree Oil. Those oils are going to be very good for cleaning, <laughs> cleansing properties. Now, what would you do if you wanted to get rid of the pests naturally in your home? Anybody have any ideas what you would do? We mop with peppermint oil. We have no carpets on the bottom floor, so we have to mop the bathroom surface, the bathroom floors, and the entire tile surface downstairs. We use in a sink full of water. Careful now, three drops of peppermint oil, and I in an entire sink full of water. I bet that keeps away the spiders and and bugs and stuff too. Yes, my dog does not take. Um, flea or tick or anything like that and we don't have any fleas in the house our nice. spiders you know we still occasionally get spiders because it's central texas yes. yeah, they, plus, are, uh, they come in up high but yeah they're, they, yeah, they, they're the little bitty ones that stay up underneath your furniture legs you know the teeny yeah. tiny little ones we don't have jumping spiders we don't have any of the little <laughs> spiders inside the house they all stay outside the house yep and it's i i for six months now we've been just water no soap just water wow. and peppermint oil in the sink Thank and you. it's it's about half a sink of water and three drops of peppermint that's, oil that's and amazing. i have to tell you my housekeeper who, who does this for us she's used young living oils for years and then she used my doTERRA oil and we had to throw the entire sink of water out because she put the same number of drops as she used for young living Much. and it was so strong she couldn't get near the the sink, the, uh, yeah. the sink. and she, now she's signed up for doTERRA underneath. <laughs> good job okay yeah. there's other things you can do for pest control too there's eucalyptus helps with roaches uh, lavender lemongrass and peppermint help with fleas uh, terra shield with mosquitoes lavender lemongrass and thyme helps with chiggers or ticks my husband gets bit like 50 times just going to can you repeat that one yes uh <laughs> chiggers is lavender lemongrass and thyme mosquitoes is terra shield okay just slower <laughs> <laughs> yep mosquitoes are terra shield i love that oil and the thing i love about terra shield is it's just a blend it just smells good and it's also it's just natural <laughs> I, it, it's just so nice i keep thinking of deep and how nice you're not putting that all over your body Ants and spiders are peppermint. And then roaches are eucalyptus. And fleas are lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint. I should put that in a newsletter sometime soon. Okay. And what was fleas? Fleas are lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint. Shalene? Yes. Have you heard if mice don't like peppermint as well? Yes. And thank you for bringing that up. I actually have a man that comes to my door and buys peppermint from me. Um, he doesn't want to enroll. He's like, I don't care. I just want, and he buys three bottles at a time and he um, puts it around his barn. He says it gets rid of the mice and the mice mm -hmm. don't like it. So, however, uh, the squirrels, it doesn't deter the squirrels from, from getting into things in my backyard. I have found that cinnamon works with this, with the squirrels. So cinnamon. Yes. Works. So when it comes to small rodents, like mice and rats, the, the mints, citronella, um, peppermint, um, and, uh, some of the other like eucalyptus, it really hurts their respiratory system. It, it's also really bad for birds. Um, so if you have those kinds of pets in your house, be very, very careful using those. Yes. Um, and outdoors, I you have to use like clove, 
um, and uh, cinnamon uh, or cassia, the hot oils will help deter the chewing rodents. pests like squirrels and raccoons. But yep. it takes but a lot more. It's also just still a few drops in water. I mean, it's not, you're not drowning them in cinnamon. You're just, it's just, they don't like the smell. So it's good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit more when we're thinking about cleaning our homes, how a toxin can cause disease and we can be bombarded. I'm trying to, to maybe scare you a little bit on this part to say, oh, I really need to make some changes. So uh, toxin can be defined as a foreign substance that can cause disease in a healthy body where immune and detoxification sy systems are functioning at full capacity. Most experts agree that normal toxic exposures are eliminated. So if we're doing the best we can, not, not completely toxic free, <clears throat> then they can be eliminated because our body can handle a little bit. Our environment is becoming increasingly toxic and our body can only handle so much junk. It's so sad. Okay, so minimum exposure is our first our first plan. We help our body process what we're exposed to and it will help your overall health. Um, there was a nurse that spoke at the meeting that we had not long ago when doTERRA came here to town mm -hmm. and she had a nine-year-old daughter who was very sick with respiratory issues. She didn't know what she, she wasn't into doTERRA yet. She was just trying to take care of her daughter the best she could with baby powder and, and fragrances and, and washing things and, and things with fragrance. It turns out she was causing the problems for her daughter. She was causing the problems with all the fragrances and the toxins. So we just need to be aware of these things and watch what we eat, what we take. So we don't have a, I, the way this author put it, you are basically cooking a chemical soup that is running havoc in your body. Oh dear. It's so sad, but we're going to improve because listen to this list. I won't read it all. Air pollution, cigarette smoke, cleaners, cookware, computers, electronics, cosmetics, dental amalgams. I don't know what word that is, but dental work done in your teeth, electromagnetic fields, frequencies, food additives, genetically modified foods, medicine and medical procedures, off gassing from carpets, fabrics, and furniture, older homes, non-organic food, paint, old lead paint, especially pesticide and herbicide residue, plastic smog, water, water piping, and vaccines. Okay. I read it all. That's a lot of things that our body has to worry about. And we need to work at detoxifying from those things. So can I tell you what the dental amalgam is? Yes. It's a silver and um, it's a silver uh, substance. It's put into um, fillings. Oh, so if you go to I a traditional dentist and they drill out a cavity and they put this stuff in your cavity, it is, a, you. it is a paste that has some silver in it. So it's somewhat antibacterial, right? But it used to have mercury in it to harden it, which was really, really nasty stuff. There's two or three other recipes for that that don't have the mercury in them. But you're, And the silver is a benefit, but some of the amalgam can cause your body to go a little haywire, especially your immune system. So. But now they're they're smarter. And I don't think they use that as much, but I've heard of people having their their uh, fillings taken out and redone. Yes, I did, the ex I did that exact same thing. I had fillings done in the 80s, which was the silver mercury amalgam. Um, and I had them redone in the 2000s. There are also, and this is worth noting, there are dentists that are natural dentists. This is a key term. You have to find a natural dentist because they will treat your teeth with the with, with a different philosophy than drill and fill. I love it. I love it. Okay, so essential oils that we can use to clean and to detox <coughs> our, our body and our lives. Lemon in your water every day. Um, I put MetaPower in my water every day. I, I know it has some of those citrusy things in there that's helping me as well. Will detoxify and help your body. Rosemary is wonderful to help cleanse your body, lemongrass, tea tree, myrrh. Cilantro is great if to uh, detoxify heavy metals. So if you feel like you have exposure to some of that in your system, you can use cilantro. You can do detox baths for your feet to get it out of. Uh, you can sit in the oils, but you can also do it in just your feet. You can also do oil pulling, which is putting oil, drop of oil with water and swishing it in your mouth constantly a lot. Boy, supposedly that gets a lot of stuff out. And uh, 
I've tried it a few times. It's pretty interesting what it will get out of your system. So imagine getting that out and always apply oils to the bottoms of your feet helps get them into your system and come out quickly. So Tara's oils are pure. You know, you have the blessing of all of that goodness uh, being used in your body. And then at the end of this podcast, the lady said something interesting. She said, if somebody's just enrolling, I, I know now they've made it so easy. You can just enroll with one product. So you don't have to buy a kit anymore, but the healthy start kit and the natural solutions kit are, are they're lower than wholesale cost, And they're a great way to start. If somebody wants to detoxify their lives and all of you, as you're enrolled, I just hope, you know, you can always buy a kit at those reduced prices. And I don't real I don't think that we realize that we're always looking on on our cart every month to go. What do I want to get this month? Oh, I need some more vitamins. Oh, I need some more shampoo. Oh, I need some more soap. Um, I need this oil or that oil. But you can purchase a kit anytime you want, and it's less than wholesale cost. And if you were to, to get the natural solutions kit, which not many people would, because it's a few hundred dollars, but that kit helps you detoxify your life. The toothpaste, the vitamins, the shampoo, the soap, the basic oils. It is a great way to start. So if you know somebody, use your referral code and get them enrolled. And you all have a referral code, even if you're a customer now. So it's a great place to start. doTERRA's products, they work. They work and they work really well and they smell great. So switch switching over is a great way. Oh, and when you're on the monthly order and you're earning points, you can use your points to purchase the cleaning products. And that, that way you're really helping your budget. So great way to go. We'll feel better. We'll do better. And it'll be fantastic. Thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, lots of great information. Does anybody have questions or something they are curious about that we've talked about? Yes, Bondell. I would like to know how to clean the toilet without chemicals because that's the one thing I don't do. Okay, so I use my On Guard spray all over it, but to me, the hardest part to get is in the bowl. And so I uh, can't remember what it's called. What's this hard stick that I buy that kind of helps with hard water? Pumice, pumice stone. Pumice stone. Thank you, Jenny. So I have a little yeah. pumice stone stick that I use to get some of the harder spots. And I will tell you, I have a hard time doing it. And Joe has to do it to get the elbow grease to really get some of the stuff to come off. So, okay. okay. Yeah. So good, Shailene. Good. Yeah, Leslie. Um, I use baking soda in there because Great. it's like a, you know, like the soft scrub stuff. Yes. Um, I clean my bathroom sink and I'm not going to lie. It was horrible. Um, just because, you know, wife gets shit and my husband doesn't clean his sink. Um, and, and it's an old white enameled one and, you know, so some of the coating and I just scrubbed it with baking soda. And he came and said, what did you clean that with? Baking soda. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, and you can put your oils in it to get it. So you can put your on guard concentrate in it. So yep. that gives you that extra scrubbing power in your yep. toilet. And so that has worked really well. And I put a little vinegar so you get that bubbling action and it just yep. really just, so. Love it. Your baking soda. And yes. What, uh, what I have seen, what I have written, what I have seen written down from other people is if you turn that refill action off after you flush your toilet, so the water doesn't dribble down. Then you can yep. put the baking soda and you can like mix it with cinnamon. You can put a drop or two of cinnamon and about a quarter cup of baking soda and a drop or two of orange or lemon oil. And you, you just paste that up Absolutely. underneath the rim and you let it sit for like a minute or two. And then you scrub it with, you know, whatever you're going to use to scrub it with. Then you turn that refill action on and it rinses and you can I like flush. It. I like and you've it. got this wonderful scent in there. The cinnamon kills bacteria, mold, um, uh, virus, everything. Um, and full strength with the with the orange or the lemon, it cleans all kinds of uh, leftover films and everything off. So I love it. But if Great you turn that refill off, you got to open up the bowl, right? You got to open up the back and like kind of disconnect something and just turn it off. And then you can put the paste on and it won't rinse off and it'll stick there. That sounds really good. So another thing that you just reminded me of, did you guys ever, uh, a toilet paper roll that goes around 
and around and around. You can put a couple of drops inside a full roll of toilet paper and sitting beside you. And then every time you use it, you get this waft of oils that comes out too. So that's a if, if you want to not have to mess with the inside of the toilet, mm -hmm. you can take a, like a half gallon or less, depending on your toilet, and just put it right down the center of the bowl in the toilet and it will it will cause it to flush and you won't have water running in. Yeah, I have heard of that before because I yeah, I grew up in California where we had a lot of water stoppages and we had to save the bath water and we would we would dump we would get the toilet to empty by putting some water in it. You're right. Yeah. Great way to go. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for getting on. I learned from you and hopefully you learned from me and you're glad to be on. Next Wednesday is going to be great because Cleveland's going to be teaching us about breathing. Are we breathing and how we can use our respiratory system, uh, get our respiratory system more naturally healthy. So can I, can I say one more thing? Sure, Jenny. The I watched a doTERRA on guard class once by doTERRA themselves and they said that every time we wash our clothes, we're washing chemicals into our clothes unless we're using natural products yeah. and then walking around with toxins all over ourselves. Yeah. Uh, We've got to be careful. Thank you. I didn't even bring up laundry detergent. So I've been using a uh, unscented, supposedly really healthy laundry detergent for from Costco because I like the bulk price. And I use my little app on it to check it to uh, see how healthy and good it was. And it, it wasn't, it had other things in it. I thought I've been using that for forever because I'm too cheap to use the doTERRA laundry detergent. Um, just cause I feel like I do a lot of laundry and, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to switch over because even what I thought was the unscented, you know, environmentally friendly still has some things in it that shouldn't be there. So we'll just keep making steps that keep making us healthier. So thanks, Jenny. Yep. Love y'all. Thanks for getting on. See you next time. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye.